Hey Rocketeers, welcome back to Rocketry. Tonight, SpaceX is about to attempt one of its boldest and riskiest experiments ever with Starship Flight 11, launching October 13, 2025 at 6.15 p.m. Central Time from Starbase, Texas. This isn't just another test flight. SpaceX has intentionally removed heat shield tiles from the Starship upper stage. Yeah, you heard that right. They're launching with gaps in the shield that protect Starship during its fiery re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. Why would they risk that? Because this is all about pushing Starship's reusability to the next level. When Ship 38 comes screaming back through the atmosphere at over 16,700 miles per hour, surface temperatures can soar past 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt stainless steel. Normally, over 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles cover the spacecraft, covering nearly 13,000 square feet of its surface. But this time, engineers have deliberately left small sections uncovered to simulate real-world tile failures, the kind that could happen during long-term reuse. By studying how superheated plasma flows into these gaps, SpaceX can see how much damage the underlying steel can handle, and whether they can reduce the number of tiles on future starships. Each tile weighs about 3.3 pounds, so even trimming 10% of them would save roughly 6,000 pounds. That's three tons less weight, meaning more cargo, more satellites, or extra fuel for Mars missions. Flight 11 also marks the final mission for the Block 2 Starship design, powered by 33 Raptor 2 engines on Booster 15-2 and 6 Raptors on the ship itself. This is the closing chapter before SpaceX upgrades to Block 3 vehicles and Raptor 3 engines in 2026, more efficient, more powerful, and built for rapid turnaround reuse. So tonight's data matters. If those exposed sections survive re-entry, SpaceX could redefine how reusable rockets are built. This isn't a stunt. It's a calculated risk aimed at perfecting Starship for both Earth and Mars re-entry.